Hi, I'm Hunter, and there are plenty of horror movies out there that people talk about. We talk about Halloween, we talk about The Exorcist, we talk about the X trilogy for movies today, Evil Dead, all of that. There are so many movies that people talk ad nauseum about on, Hall on YouTube, and here are some that people don't talk about. People don't talk enough about these movies, and if you haven't seen them, you need to, because some of these are terrifying. So let's jump in right away. We've got one here. We've got the Wishmaster movies, and that's a Wishmaster collection. This is from Vestron Video, and this is four movies here, and the Wishmaster, it is just an awesome, awesome foursome of movies here, and if you just watch one, watch the first one, but you might love the rest of the series. And here it is... A, about a djinn that can grant wishes but of course problems arise when those wishes get granted and uh the wishmaster actually ends up wanting to devour people's souls and all of that this series is so awesome it is so much fun and you get tons of just great gore effects great effects here some great performances as well and if you haven't checked it out you need to because it's you know we don't have too many of these sort of like uh, you know be careful what you wish for, you know, Evil Genie, stuff like that. We don't have that many movies like that, and Wishmaster taps into that, and then some. So, if you're looking for a movie to check out, Wishmaster 1 is definitely there, and if you like that one, check out the rest of the series, Wishmaster 2, Evil Never Dies, Wishmaster 3, Beyond the Gates of Hell, and then, of course, Wishmaster, The Prophecy Fulfilled, because they're just really fun, and if you haven't seen them, you need to. Next up, we have this, this this group of movies, this list is full of movies that might be from popular people that you might not know about. And this one is from Stephen King, or at least Stephen King wrote it, and that is Sleepwalkers from director Mick Garris. Sleepwalkers is a wild and an insane movie if you haven't ever seen this one. It is about people that are monsters that feed and have this weird incestual relationship and their weakness is cats if you love cats you'll love sleepwalkers it has uh some great performances here as well madchen amic is great in this and she's just smoking hot as well um brian kraus is great mick garris directs the hell out of this it does have a tiny itty bitty cameo from mark hamill at the very beginning and uh you know the bodies pile up, the, the, the monster effects here are pretty great, and it is just a really, really good Stephen King adaptation, and it's one of the lesser seen ones that deserves to be seen more. Sleepwalkers is insane, it is amazing. Check out the Scream Factory release as well if you have, want to get it on physical media, but this is a great one from the 90s, so check it out. Speaking of movies that have really, really famous first parts, and then there's Psycho 2, 3, and 4. I couldn't pick one here, so just get all of them. There's a new release of this from Arrow Video. You can get these Scream Factory ones like Dirt Cheap. These movies are so much different than the original Psycho. The original Psycho is one of the best horror movies ever made. It just is. That's a no doubter. You can't debate that. These movies are weird. They are strange. They diverge off the path of that film. And you get across the board, you get Anthony Perkins as just an amazing performance. Just a great performance as Norman Bates here. He is wild, he is crazy, he is insane, and you just get uh, to see a lot. Psycho 4 is a prequel to it. It's crazy how it goes, but you get one of those craziest sort of, I guess it's a kill here. Norman smacks an old lady over the back of the head with a shovel, and you just get all of that and then some with Psycho 2, 3, and 4. If you love the original Psycho and you love Norman Bates, you owe it to yourself to watch these movies because they are just fantastic performances from uh, Anthony Perkins. And you just get some great horror. You just get some great 80s horror goodness. Like it goes across the whole 80s here uh, into the 90s with this one. And you see just sort of an evolution of, of the series across these three. And they're great. Watch them with the first one if you need to. Here's one that comes from horror icon Robert England, And that is 976 Evil. Yes, this movie, I've talked about it before, but this one was plagued by budget issues, plagued by a terrible producing studio, whatever you want to call it. But through that, all of that, it is still a great movie. It is still endlessly entertaining, a great horror movie. It stars Stephen Jeffries from Fright Night. So there you go, you get more like, what did they do after they were super popular? Well, they did this. And 976 Evil has some sequels. I have yet to see the sequels. If you like the sequels, let me know in the comments what you think of them. But this is a great version uh, from Eureka Entertainment of the, the Blu-ray. 
Uh, this is just, it's directed by Robert Englund. There's some great set pieces here, even though they ran out of money while they were filming it. If you look at the storyboards and the behind the scenes stuff, it's just one of those cases where, man, if they could have done the movie that they wanted to do, we might have a horror classic on our hands. Without that, you have a good horror movie that you might like a lot more that might have, you know, some great effects, great performances. Check out 976 Evil, especially if you're showing it to people that might not know what a payphone is or a call number like that. You get some some uh, some humor from that as well. But 976 Evil, great one. Check it out. So you all know Peter Jackson. You all know uh, Michael J. Fox. Uh, did you know that they did a movie together called The Frighteners? The Frighteners is one of the earliest horror movies I remember watching as a kid. And it has, um, what's his name? Uh, uh, oh no. Uh, oh, I'm forgetting his name. Oh no. Jake Busey. It has Jake Busey, Gary Busey's brother. It has Jeffrey Combs as a killer with a hemorrhoid. Michael J. Fox is fantastic. The ghosts that you see here are all great. It is just an underrated horror classic that gets swept under the rug because I don't know why Peter Jackson doesn't talk about this movie. There's, uh, you know, just a great director's cut. There's a theatrical version. It's scary. The effects are cool. It's just one of the best out there that not that many people talk about these days. And The Frighteners, I love it because it, it's super nostalgic for me, remembering bits and pieces of it as a kid, seeing it. And this movie, it's awesome. The ghost effects are great, a great story as well. Uh, if you love ghosts, ghost stories, stuff like that, you will love The Frighteners. And if you love Peter Jackson's sort of sense of humor, especially early in his career, you'll love this movie as well. Here's a collection of movies. If you haven't seen House 1 to 4, you're missing out. The House movies are hilarious, especially the first one. It's more comedy than horror, but the horror effects are great as well. Uh, House 2, 3, and 4. I love the fourth movie. The fourth movie is great. Um, the horror show, the third movie, was not originally a house movie, but it is a great movie. It has Lance Henriksen and Brian James in it as well. It doesn't really connect to the other three movies in this collection, but uh, it's a great movie nonetheless. They added on the house thing as a marketing gimmick. But this collection from Arrow Video is one of the first things that got me into collecting physical media hardcore, which is crazy. I love this box set for that reason. I love these movies for that reason. And House, if you want a little bit of horror with your comedy or a little bit of comedy with your horror, either one, you love House, you would need to watch this movie. And it's just a great collection if you can get this one as well from Arrow Video. The physical media extras on this are great. It's a great box, it looks nice on the shelf, and the movies are great to boot. So if you love House 1, check out 2, 3, and 4. And if you haven't seen any of them, you need to see it all. Here's one from Stuart Gordon that features Barbara Crampton, Jeffrey Combs again. And it's actually the uh, an anniversary of this film today as I'm recording this, From Beyond. This is the excellent physical media release from Vinegar Syndrome with the slipcover and everything. One of the best physical media releases out there for one of the gooeyest, goriest, pinkest horror movies you've ever seen. The footage that they restored and added to this is mind-blowing how they got it in and how they got it to fit and look great as it does. The documentary that's on this release is also worth the price of admission. But just in general, this movie is great, especially if you love Stuart Gordon's other movies. If you love Barbara Crampton, if you think Barbara Crampton is really hot, you like this movie. If you like Jeffrey Combs and you like seeing that role reversal that they have in this film from Reanimator, where Barbara Crampton is the damsel in distress in that film, now she's the badass scientist and Jeffrey Combs is the damsel in distress. This whole movie is amazing from the effects to the directing, to the writing, to the performances. Ken Foray is great in this movie as well. Just all around an awesome film. And if you haven't seen From Beyond and you love Stuart Gordon, what the hell are you doing not talking about this movie, not telling other people to watch this movie? You need to see it. You need to talk about it. Everyone needs to see From Beyond. Last, we have one of the most terrifying movies I've ever seen. I will not watch this movie ever again. But that still doesn't mean people shouldn't talk about it. That is fire in the sky. Alien abduction stuff scares the crap out of me. This movie goes into an alien abduction into great detail with great effects, horrifying visuals, and all of it. And it's based on a true story to boot. This movie is terrifying. And I know there's people out there that are going to be, ha ha Hunter, I laughed at that movie as a six-year-old. Well, sorry, but this movie scares the crap out of me. This is an excellent physical media release from Scream Factory, even though I only planned on watching it ever, watching it once. 
this movie is terrifying it's horrifying and it's loaded with special features and it'll just scare you it'll do you know, i get nightmares about this movie just thinking about it instead of just, i haven't watched it in like two years this movie gives me nightmares it's terrifying but that still means that people need to talk about it because it is so scary it gets left off of like scariest movies ever whatever lists like that that i see people don't have this movie on it even if you're not that afraid of aliens you're not that afraid of alien abduction stuff it is still horrifying because of the visuals it is goes so far into that hyper realistic sort of nightmarish quality where it, it's like it's like a dream that turns into a nightmare all of a sudden you're sitting there and you're in your dream and you're like la da 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 whatever and then it turns into a nightmare that's what this movie is this movie is a nightmare and it's great and maybe i'll watch it again but you need to talk about this movie more what are some movies that you think people don't talk about enough halloween halloween 3 i don't know x pearl maxine uh halloween ends i know i said halloween a lot but people don't talk about those movies enough do they just kidding folks but let me know in the comments what you think people should talk more about as regards to horror movies make sure to like comment subscribe and do all that youtube stuff because it really helps me out as it uh from what i want what you guys want to see all of that good stuff Thank you for watching, and if you like this video and you want to know more movies for Halloween, check out this video right here. There's 31 of them. That's actually a lie. There's more than 31, but check out the video and check out the list.